Let me explain how to send and receive data between chatbot and Google Sheet without using any external tools like Zapier or Mac. And also I will show a live demo as well. So let's quickly see what are the things covered in this video. So I'm going to explain how to transfer data between a chatbot and Google Sheet, like sending a data from chatbot to Google Sheet, updating a data based on the action we perform on the chatbot to the Google Sheet, and also get some kind of data from Google Sheet to chatbot and delete any data on the Google Sheet using a chatbot action. And also finally, get a random raw data. So this can be helpful when you want to select a winner for, the, for a giveaway or a contest. So without any further ado, let me show a demo how this actually works. So here we have a demo Google Sheet over here and it says VIP customer list. And here you can find the user ID, name, email, and phone number. So this particular user ID is unique for each of these. Uh, contacts over here. So these are just some of the demo contacts and the worksheet is called as VIP list. First, let's see how we actually send this particular uh, particular VIP list, particular customer list into this particular Google Sheet easily. So let me share my phone screen over here. So let me first trigger this flow. So this can actually works on multiple channels. Uh, so let me check, show the demo on the Instagram channel over here. So let me simply share the phone screen as well. So it says welcome and here we are presented with different kind of option. So become a VIP. So when, when a particular customer tap on this button become a VIP, we will actually collect their name, email and phone number and add the send the particular data to this specific Google Sheet and change details. So this particular option allows the customer to update any kind of their details. So they can update their name, email or phone number and check VIP status. So a particular customer can enter their particular email and see if they are still a VIP customer. So I will also show the demo how this works and uh, delete me. So if a particular customer wants to remove themselves from the VIP list, we can do that as well. Uh, and also finally, super VIP or random. So this particular uh, button, super VIP explains how to randomly select a particular uh, customer from this particular VIP list in the Google Sheet. So without any further ado, let's start with uh, the basics we become a VIP so it simply asks for the customer details and send the data to Google Sheet so let's see what happens over here so it simply asks for the detail over here so let me enter the name uh, Charik Media and after that it will ask for the email address uh, thanks Charik Media now please enter your email address so let me enter the email uh, Charik Media at gmail.com some of like that media at gmail.com and it simply asks for the phone number as well so let me enter some random phone numbers all right so i have entered all these details let's see what happens so as you see here it simply uh, send the data immediately over here so this actually happens without using any external tools like Zapier or mac i will explain how this is actually done uh, at the end of this video as well and it simply says you have been added to the vip list so if i tap on this menu button it provide an option to go back to the welcome menu so that means it actually provide all the options for me over here so now let's say if I want to update the emails so let me update the email it says at the moment the email address is chatikmedia at gmail.com so let's say if I want to change the email address over here uh, let me click on change details and see what happens over here and it simply says here are your details the name email the kind of things over here so uh, let me change the email over here so let me press change email and it simply asks for the email so this time i'm going to simply enter uh, test at gmail.com so this particular email should be updated in the google sheet immediately and as you see it's simply updated over here and it says a charity media test at gmail.com and this phone, phone number is all, already here so that is how that particular change uh, the details works over here so let me preview this again and show other options as well so let me simply preview this one again over here to show you other options we have over here so now we have actually look at the become a vip and the change details so let's check the vip status so to check the vip status it simply ask for an email and if the particular email found in this particular Google Sheet, it simply says they are a VIP customer. So now let's uh, check how this actually works. Check VIP status. 
So let's see how this actually works. So it's simply ask what is your VIP email address? So at the moment, this is the email. These are the email address uh, who are actually VIP customers. So here we have test at gmail.com. So here I'm going to enter uh, test one at gmail.com and see what happens over here. So it should say you are not a VIP customer or something like that. Uh, let me show how this actually works over here. And it says sorry, test one is not associated with any of our VIP customers because here we don't have test one. So what I can do is I can search again and simply put a different email as well. So let's say your friend's email is this particular email, alex at gmail.com. So let me put that email over here. Uh, let me enter that email over here and see what happens over here, alex at gmail.com. So let's see what happens over here. And it simply says, yes, you are a VIP customer. It simply send those kind of details over here. So now let's go to the menu and check other details as well. So here, delete me, those kind of things. You can delete yourself as well. So as you remember, our account ID is related with check media test at gmail.com, this particular number. So let me press delete me and see what happens. So would you like to delete yourself from VIP customer list? So let me press yes and see how this actually works. And this particular data is already gone. So the genetic media data is already gone. So that's it simply deleted our details as well. So let me go to menu over here. And here uh, we can finally we can actually select a random customer from this particular VIP list. So at the moment we actually have only uh, this kind of customer list over here. So it can simply select a random customer from this list as well. So let me ch check super VIP random. So this is very useful when you actually run giveaways or contest. So let me choose. So this time it simply choose Rachel, Rachel Gmail and their details. Here is the random customer from the VIP list. And let me go to the menu over here. So let me choose again a random customer and see what happens. So it simply choose a different customer. It says Mike, Mike at gmail.com, those kind of things. So this is very useful when you want to select random people from the particular list so this is the whole demo now let's see how this is actually set up over here so let me share my, the flow over here so as you remember the flow actually start with welcome to chatting media and it simply present us with these kind of menu items so let me show that as well so if someone so welcome to chatting media and simply present these kind of menu so become vip so this is the place where we actually send the data so to become a VIP, we have to collect their name. So if I click on this particular uh, block over here, it simply says, what's your name? And their name is simply saved to the full name field over here. And uh, after that, we collect their email and likewise, the email is saved to the email field and likewise, the phone number is saved to the phone number field as well. So if you're wondering how to collect these kind of details, you have to simply use add content and get user data. So if you want to collect email, you can choose email. If you want to collect phone number, you can choose phone number. Likewise, you can collect other textual or number or date kind of details as well. So here we are only collecting name, email and phone number. So once all these data is collected, we simply send the data to Google Sheet. So keep in mind the Google Sheet name is VIP customer list and the worksheet is VIP list. And here we have a columns with this kind of uh, four columns, user ID, name, email and phone number. So here we have this Google Sheet action send data and this particular send data send this particular uh, data to this particular spreadsheet named as VIP customer list and the worksheet is VIP list. So this particular user ID is assigned within our platform and unique for each of the contacts. So you can use it as well. So user ID is sent from the user ID and the full name uh, variable is selected and it's simply sent to the name variable and likewise email we are sending to the email column phone we are sending the phone call so that's how we actually send the data to google sheet and once the data is added we simply send this kind of uh, confirmation message you have been added to the VIP list and uh, that's how this uh, send data works and if they press menu we simply collect send them again to the starting step over here so now let's see how to change details works so if someone press change details button we simply before that we actually have already stored these particular details we already collected from the customers in these kind of specific fields full name uh, email field and likewise phone number 
So when someone wants to change their details, we simply send this kind of message. Here are your details in the name, email and phone number. So here they can choose whatever the details they want to change. For example, if a particular customer wants to change their name and if they press this button change name, we have an, another block over here. We simply ask for their name and that particular name will be saved in the full name field as well. So once they have entered their name, so it means the data is saved, we simply send this data to the Google Sheet. So as you remember, the particular user ID. So this field is unique for each contact and it won't change. So here we are actually updating the Google Sheet and here we are using the action called update row over here and we are same spreadsheet and worksheet over here. So to update a particular row. So let's say if a particular this particular Rachel named as customer changed their email address. So if we want to update this particular column, what we are doing here is that we are simply using this particular user ID column which is actually unique for each customer to locate this particular customer and based on that particular user ID column we simply update the email over here so that's how it's set up so lookup column return rows that match all filters so here we have to look up for the user ID column yeah we simply link the system user ID value over here and from there we simply update all the details over here so if they change only email only email will be updated whether if they change name name will be updated likewise it will update the phone number as well so likewise we are already all connecting all the fee all these updates change details to this single update google sheet action because we are already updating all the things all these three variables within this thing single uh, action so that's why we are connected all these things over here and once the details have been uh, updated we simply send your details have been updated and link this again back over here and it simply send them the updated details as well and here they have the menu option as well so if they click menu it will simply send them back to the welcome menu so that's how we actually update the details on the google sheet using a chatbot so now let's see how to check for the vip status so for this we simply ask the customer to enter their email address so what happens is that when they actually enter the email address we actually send, save this email address in a temporary email field so we actually saving this in a temporary email field and we simply have an action block over here so this particular action block is simply get user data so here get row because we want to see if the particular email address entered by the customer is a is belongs to a vip customer for that we use get row the same spreadsheet worksheet and we are using the email column so this particular email column and we are trying to see if this particular email column matches the email address which is entered by the customer which is saved in the temp email field and if it matches we simply get all the details name will be saved to customer name email will be saved to customer email and the phone from the google sheet column will be saved to the customer phone variable so if if we actually find this uh, if, if let's say if a particular customer email exists it has any value that means the particular customer email is associated with the VIP customer so we simply send a message saying yes you are a VIP customer and we simply send all those details over there suppose if the particular email address uh, doesn't uh, it, it doesn't have any kind of values so that means uh, it won't have any values when uh, this particular Google Sheet action become invalid for example so if the email is so if the email column over here doesn't match any of these email entered by the customer then none of these data will be available saved in the variables so that means it doesn't have any value so if that's the case that then we can conclude sorry that particular email address entered by the customer is not associated with any of the VIP customers and we simply send that kind of message and here we provide an option for them to search again so that means they can enter another email address and see if that is a particular associated with the VIP customer list otherwise uh, we can simply send them to the welcome menu as well so uh, that's how it's sim the check VIP status works and here delete me so delete me provide an option for them to and remove themselves from the VIP customer list over here so here it simply say when when someone click on this button delete me it simply send this kind of message would you like to delete yourself uh, from the VIP customer list and we actually have this Google sheet action which is called as clear the draw so clear the draw it simply delete a row from over there so clear the draw VIP customer list same Google sheet same worksheet and we simply clear the row uh, when the user ID is particular user so we can actually remove 
uh, when the particular customer says they want to remove themselves we can simply track the user id from this particular column and we also have the same user id variable in this particular uh, system field as well we simply match that as well so once those fields match we simply uh, remove this particular data from the google sheet as well so that's how this particular delete me works so once the uh, once the particular uh, rec uh, row is deleted from the google sheet we send this kind of message do details have been removed from our app list and send them back to the menu and finally we want to a uh, super vip so that means we simply if you want to select one of a particular customer from this particular list randomly then you can use this google sheet action over here so it simply use this kind of action over here so let me show that as well so it says get random row so here we have this kind of rows if you want to get a random row you can use this action get random row and using that action you can simply save all those fields over here so you can save the name into the custom customer name field variable and the email on the google sheet column you can save into the customer email likewise phone you can save in the customer phone as well so once uh, those de details have been saved we can send that particular random customer list for, for the customer as well so it simply displays name customer name those kind of things over here and here we also have this menu option and it simply send the send them back to the welcome menu as well so this is just a small introduction about the powerful features related to our google sheet and you can achieve all these things without using any kind of uh, external tools like Zapier or mac if you have any other questions let us know in the comments thank you